and welcome back. Yeah, we're still driving along, trying to keep the speed balanced, which is an, which is annoying as hell, honestly, because because we're not actually going uphill anymore. It was just a very small increase in your elevation. That was all that it was. Look, you won't even be able to tell that you're going uphill if you look back. Look, look how long the train stretches back though. It's, it's this is such a big train. Oh, wait a minute. It's on 13 and we're now slowing down. Holy shit. I, I, I'm actually baffled by, by this train, honestly. This train is absolutely confusing. I don't know what the hell is going on. Let's slow down slightly. Oh god, we're going to we're going so damn fast. I actually wonder what would happen if I changed if I changed the game to do simple controls because you, you can do that in like the main menu. You can change it to, to simpler controls apparently. I, I'm not actually sure what that would do, but I, I'm perfectly fine myself just driving driving with the expert stuff as it says. Apparently these are expert controls, so apparently we are indeed experts to train simulator. That's, that, that's, that's great, isn't it? And I can confirm that we are going the right way because the blue line says so. And that's the bottom line because train simulator says so. It's, it, it's still it's still another 1.8 miles in about 10 minutes until we just get to Barstow West Exit 2. I mean, for God's sake, come on. Why does it take this long just to get to a freaking exit? I mean, God. How honestly annoying. <laughs> it... it well, it, it's not annoying. It, it's it, it's just that the 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 train yard is annoyingly big, and I have no clue why anybody would make a train yard this big. Again, as I said in the last episode, it's about five miles long or big. This train yard is surely. I can't understand why you would want that big of a train yard. Surely, just make like one little circle of, of, of maybe like a sort of, sort of a roundabout with maybe five five or so sidings that that would be useful let's let's break slightly because we're going over the speed limit here. we're exactly on 15 miles an hour if we can stay at that no we can't <laughs> I was gonna say if, if we could stay on that speed that would be fantastic because that is the optimal speed really Actually, you'd probably say the optimal speed is 15.9 miles an hour because that that is literally as high as you can go before the um, marker there pops up to tell you that you're actually breaking the speed limit. The hell's that train doing there? God's sake, move, man! Do something! And it's just got a load of empty carriages there for some reason. God knows why he's towing those, but uh, I guess we'll never find out. Only, only the driver of of this train. Wait a minute. That is actually not a train because it's got no engine. Oh God. <laughs> so someone's just left a load of freight just lying in a train yard. Who the hell would do that? I don't know why I'm complaining, because I think I have done that many, many times myself. Again, it's still 10 minutes apparently until we get to the, the west exit. And I still 1.82. That freaking um, distance thing isn't actually updating, I swear it's not. No, it, 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 it's just stuck at one, one point. Are we still going down? Yeah, we're still going down the right line. It's surely not that far away. It's definitely 1.82 miles away. No way. I 
Let's, let, let's just brake slightly, just to make sure we don't go to the speed bumps. We don't, we, we don't be want to, we don't want to take any, any unnecessary risks, because if we go too fast, there's a chance that we might cause some sort of domino effect and cause the five mile train yard to blow up. Because that is clearly very possible. Let's speed up slightly. God knows how many times, how many times I've said, oh, let's speed up, let's slow down. Yeah, I, I don't think it's actually going to take 10 minutes because because this thing is broken. It, 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 it's not updating the actual distance. I can say though, we are definitely going via West Exit 2 because, you know, the, the blue line goes through West Exit 2, so, the, 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 so there's no doubt that we are going that way. Thirteen point five miles an hour, that's a fine speed, maybe just increase it just slightly. And there we go. No, nope, slows down so so fast. Why isn't there just like a cruise control button where you can just stick at one speed? I would just love that so much. It it'll be the ideal button in these situations in my opinion. But trains apparently can't use cruise control. The, the last game with any sort of cruise control button that I played was Euro Truck Simulator. You know, you could just you just press C on the keyboard and it would just stick and it would just like stick at the same speed. Honestly, it was fantastic. All, all you had to do was, was steer the truck. So simple. But on this, you, you have to repeatedly adjust speeds. Which is a bit annoying at times. How long is this tank? Oh my god, so many carriages. Probably too many for. Yeah, actually, uh, actually there is probably just too many. Look, let's, let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 29 carriages. This freaking thing is pulling. It's doing a hell of a good job of it, to be fair. And also, it's not raining anymore, so we've just turned the wipers off. We're coming here to Barstow West Exit 2, and yet the distance is actually updated finally. That's that's relieving. It still doesn't say that, that it's, it still doesn't say anymore that we're uh, taking 10 minutes to get there. Thankfully. Let's just accelerate slightly. Boom, bada boom, bada boom, and there we go. It slows down so fast, God. It, sl it slows down faster than it accelerates. E even when the brakes aren't on. Oh, we're, we're actually going uphill, which might have something to do with it. And we're about to clear West Exit 2, and we should be on our way to Oro Grande, I think it is. Leaving the yard behind you, your next stop is Oregon in signing 10, where the last eight wagons must be delivered. Christ almighty. 27.7 miles. That is how far it is to Oregon there. Jesus Christ. We're, we are in for another long haul. Quite literally, because we we are hauling a long train and it's a long way, so it is a long haul in both senses of the word. Still trundling along at 15 miles an hour. Slowed down annoyingly. 
It's at 13, it's slowing down. Oh god, why? Probably because we're going uphill, but that's beside the point. There is a signal right ahead of us, and will it turn red? Yep. Our trains still have the ability to change the colours of light, which I'm delighted about. That, that is the one property of my trains that I don't want to change at all. I, I, I really do love trains that, that can just change things around them. That is certainly what I like. And we're going, we're, the accelerator set at 25% and we're still slowing down. Oh no, we're speeding up again. Goddamn physics! What, why do you have to complicate so many things? If physics didn't exist, everything would be fine. Everything would be fine. Going over 15, but we're not. We're not at 16 yet. Actually, let's slow down slightly. There's a hell. Of, there's a hell of a long train just, just passing us by there. Let's honk our horn. That's not the horn. Yeah, the bell. Great. I, I, I'm actually not not sure which key on the keyboard is, is to honk the horn, so I'd have to press that button. I, I was pressing H, but apparently that's headlights, so let's turn them off. Passing the time here. Let's have a look around us. Ooh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. It's, it, it's, we're, we're in a 30 zone now. Fantastic. We can actually go a bit faster than this. Because, let's be honest, we're going in a fucking snail's pace right now. So we'll just accelerate along here as the steam spurts out the top of our train. Five miles. Oh, wait, oh, wait a minute. We're in a 55 zone. Holy shit. That's, that's definitely bombers. See, it annoys me this hood because the, the 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 signs were like 30 and 55 and all of those, they were not shown. Honestly, that the, there was actually no signs on the heads-up display that that the speed limit was changing. It there's usually signs. I don't understand why there wasn't today. And for God's sake, game, just sort it out. Tell me when I can change my speed. God's sake. It, I, I would really appreciate it if, if, if you could tell me when I'm going to also speed up and slow down. Do ba do 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 Oh, power lines. Uh, oh, wait a minute! I can see. I can see one of the one of the good old-fashioned underground power lines. Yep, see there it is. Fantastic. We we all love a good underground power line, over here. Just the things that you want to see in this kind of situation. Underground power lines—they really fill you with confidence. 
honestly, can anyone tell me if these things actually exist? Because to me, they, they just seem ridiculous. You know, power lines under the ground. How, how easy would, would they be to, like, break? You know, with the amount of things that go over the ground these days? They, they could break so easily. Level crossing. Pet uh, lol. Sorry. I wonder, if, I wonder if there's ever been a train which has actually had to stop at level crossing. I highly doubt it, but yeah. Some freaking cars were, were, were probably stupid enough to completely defy level crossing rules and just take a risk and probably get run over. You know, level crossings are there for a reason, you know, when the gates are down, don't freaking smash through the gate, okay? Don't be a, don't be a prat, pretty much, is, is what I'm trying to say. Because, if you get hit by a train, you're gonna know about it. <laughs> you will not live to tell the tale of being hit by a train. And it's freaking raining again. We're going at 55.4 miles an hour right now. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with this speed. It's, it's actually staying at a consistent speed as well, which is fantastic. If we can say it about 55, I'll be delighted. It's 8.55, we're going at 55 miles an hour. How appropriate. Oh no, we're actually slowing down quite fast now, which is a shame. Let's increase our accelerator. Still slowing down, for God's sake. I think we're actually going slightly uphill now, so maybe that might have something to do with it, but I've no clue. It's raining again, as you can see. You... Windows are so blurry. Let's see what it's like over this side. Yep, still very rainy over here as well, not surprisingly. Let's have a look around this again. Oh, yeah, we, we have certainly returned to the barren areas of uh, the Kajan Pass. <laughs> Is this the Mojave Desert again? Because it certainly looks, uh, certainly looks quite like it. Apologies for that one, guys. Just had to stop the recording quickly. There we go. Let's carry on. Sort this on the heads out. <laughs> anyway, guys, yeah, I'm quite surprised about you know how many. Oh, what was the Hello, hello. Where are you going? Oh god, this, this one's quite a big train as well. This, Christ, how big is it compared to mine? It's oh my god, I think it's, I think it's slightly bigger than mine actually. <laughs> Damn it. I thought, I thought I had the biggest train in the West. Oh well. Anyway guys, yeah, as I was saying, I, I'm quite surprised about how, um, how many views this series is getting because it, it, on like the first videos, it has like 20 views every video, so that's, that considering my usual standards is, is quite good actually, so yeah, thank, thanks very much everyone for, you know, supporting the series and, and watching them. Even if you only watch them for like 5 minutes or something, I do appreciate this. I can only imagine these must be quite hard to watch. <laughs> I mean, it's quite painful watching someone driving a train around like this, but... I mean, you know, you, you, you gotta do what you gotta do. Wait a minute. I'm actually gonna like, look around the train here to just see what all the, what the things do. That is the uh, locomotive brake, and that is the train brake. So, what's the difference? If you pulled that with the look, as in with the locomotive, like, back there stopped? I don't, I'm not sure what's going on. That is the dynamic brake, and that is the power handle. That's 
the reverser. Hmm. Interesting. I think that I think I think that there is actually the reverser, the one that says you know up and down. Even though you can you can go forward with it as well, it's actually called the reverser. I'm not sure why. I I I, I just love the atmosphere of these games. Sometimes I mean it's just so awesome. Just driving along a train like this, just looking out the window at all the rain. You know, I, I absolutely love this stuff in real life, but when I'm on, when I'm on like train stuff, I, I don't know why. It, it, it is it is a bit weird. I I do acknowledge that myself, but I think it's just fantastic. Although this like area is definitely not not the places the place I'd expect. You know, like rain like this. I suppose there's only light rain. It's just break a little bit. I mean, yeah, it is only light rain, it's not exactly heavy rain, but you wouldn't expect much rain at all in areas like this. Oh, I suppose, you know, um, there's like a few farms around, and I suppose uh, you do need quite a little bit of rainfall uh, to actually, you know, have ideal farming conditions, so may may maybe you would expect some, uh, some rain to be around here, yeah, I'm not sure. We're slowing down again for some reason. Oh, another level crossing. No, 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 no actual cars having to stop this time. Lucky them. Right, we're, we're going, we're going, we're going on a, we're going on flat ground now. Anyway, let's increase the accelerator just, just a little bit more. That's a. Uh, that's quite an awesome camera angle as well, if you think about it. It kind of gives you a good layout of everything. It'd be nice if you could rotate this camera, but you actually can't. Oh well. Anyway, I think I might just quickly um, split the episode here, guys. Just so, because, you know, I think I might have been doing this one for about 20 minutes now. So, yeah, guys, uh, see you in this episode.